Welcome to the zone with one of the best songs in the Sonic series. <laughs> Knuckles, go! <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> oh. Alright, so... Oh. Okay, yes, so ahead. yeah. So yeah, the Disney live-action remakes. So I guess we'll... We bru briefly brushed up upon that. Um, now, where do we think is the, the firm's starting point with that, I guess? Because it's funny you mention that, because the thing is... They've technically been doing this for a while. Yeah, they've been doing that since 94, actually, with the the live-action version of the Jungle Book uh, prior to the 2016 version. Oh, yeah. yeah! I keep forgetting about that. The first Cinderella movie I did, I did see when I was really young was a live-action one. Oh, hmm. yeah. I know my mom loves one of the really old, uh... one of the old Cinderella movies. I wanted to say it was from, like, the 60s or something. Something she watched when she was mm. a kid and loved. <sighs> but, yeah, I... I keep forgetting about the Disney live-action remakes. I mean... There's, there's, a, there's a separate article just for this. Of course there is. I mean... Yeah. Other than, okay, like, so... two of them, they haven't really been that good. <laughs> honestly, I... Honestly, with all, most of the live-action remakes, especially the ones in particular, um, that have been coming out more and more recently, I generally have, like, zero interest in any of them. Only the Jungle Book one was actually, like, pretty interesting. Yeah. I was gonna say, which one? Are we talking the... The newer one, the 2016 yeah. one, whatever. Like, that yeah, one was okay. actually a pretty interesting take. Yeah, because it did... It does list that Jungle Book that I mentioned earlier as the very first official start. It was... It was... It was one of the best ones, probably. Like, I'm talking about the 94 one. Oh, oh, that, okay. So in oh. terms of other live action movies, the other ones that have been prominently spun out in terms of, like, from Disney's end was what? The Maleficent ones, and there was this one. I think it was Alice in Wonderland, was it? That was I, I, I did, I did like the 101 uh, one Dalmatians live action remake. Yeah. I did like that. Yeah. Not, Not so much one. a sequel. Yeah, the sequel is unnecessary. Yep. Then again, what is it these days? Sequel-wise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Alice in Wonderland remake was kind Weird. of a jarring, c confusing mess because... Well, Tim Burton, I mean... It, it was trying to be yeah. both... The, it was trying to incorporate, like, both the, uh, the original book... Plus the Disney version, which, by the way, had more through the looking glass elements than the actual book of the name. Right. Um, and also some other books in the series in one. And then the sequel for the looking glass, it's like, uh, you've already done most of the plot elements from that, from doing the original. Ah. So the first one, the first live action remake wasn't bad, the second one. Unnecessary. Yeah. The first one was weird. Then again, then yeah. again Tim Burton. Well, was, the second one was definitely was unnecessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then there was Maleficent, which... <sighs> I'm sorry, I gotta say this. They weren't bad, but it was a strange movie. Strange idea. It's Wicked. Yeah. It's freaking Disney's Wicked. Yep. <laughs> They took what is essentially the the coolest character in the entire movie, the, you know, the mistress of all evil and all that, yep. and turned her into, like, oh, she wasn't that bad. Like, they wicked her. Yeah. They, yeah. The movie itself it wasn't, wasn't bad, very... but the whole idea behind it wasn't really that good. Yeah, it's like, yeah. people like Maleficent because she's good at being evil. Like, take that out. It's kind of... It, it, Standalone, it's fine, but yeah, when linking it back to Disney, it's eh. Yeah. And th then there's the Cinderella live action remake, which I have mixed opinions on that one. I feel like there have been multiple of those. Yeah, I've seen a lot of. I feel like that's the one that a lot of. But I guess it's the more modern take. Of... Yeah, where. <sighs> I like that the prince is actually more of a character than just there. It has like three lines of dialogue. I have your shoe, miss. <laughs> oh, it is you. 
Come be my wife! Okay. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> it's like they actually made him a character in the live action remake, which I'm fine with. That's probably like, better I did off. Like, I did like that. So, but... <sighs> a lot of other things with that, it just... Questionable. No Prince will be a Our... cast on, though. <laughs> I mean, no one shoots like Gaston. Yeah. No one like Gaston. Yeah, the Jungle Book 2016 one, um... That one was a weird trip for me. It was probably the best of their live-action remakes, like, recently, anyway. I yeah. haven't seen that one, so honestly, I'm kind of neutral on that one. I mean, there's one I would argue... Um, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, if you're looking last, I've already said my opinions on it, where right. it felt completely yeah. unnecessary. Ah. Uh, there, then there's the Beauty and the Beast 2017 one. Yeah. Pointless. Oh, much. Oh, where did it begin with this one? one of the I worst didn't ones see you it, think? I don't care for it. It's definitely up there. This is when the live-action remake started kind of dipping... Force kind of dipping down in quality, like, a lot. Yeah, I know that one wasn't very <laughs> well received. Yeah, because... It just felt like they they weakened a lot of the stronger scenes from the original, and then the scenes that they added. Okay. So... Let's... Nope. Hang on. Hang oh, on a sec. Give it a call. Alright. Yep. Well, I was saying, if you're going to do a phone call, mute yourself, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he did. Alright. But anyway, well, before he gets back to that, yeah, I do remember the piece of the, the Beauty of the Beast one being weird, but... Welcome to Flying Memory didn't... Zone. This zone is hell. Oh, yeah. This place sucks. And his knuckles, it's even worse, because guess what? <laughs> Lower jump is horrible. Yeah, it makes so some of his... A lot. It makes some of his freaking... Traversing pretty rough. I do yeah. love the music so, for this zone, though. And playing as Sonic yeah. is fine. Yeah, when you play as a Sonic, it's fine because yeah. you know you have the speed and you have the height for your jump anyway. Like that's probably the biggest problem with Knuckles in this game. His slightly lower jump makes it like a little harder to do things, even if he can climb walls. You wouldn't think it'd be so bad because it would slightly give how bad can it be? It's much worse than you probably realize. Right. This is definitely life. gonna be, yeah. This is definitely gonna be the last episode because I'm gonna have to bail in a few minutes to go pick up a girlfriend. Oh, yeah, no problem. Oh, okay. You wanna yeah, wrap up some uh, quick thoughts of the, the Disney remake stuff? Yeah. So, Beauty and the Beast 2017 one, the where I was at with that one, the one thing that really did annoy me, they introduced this book. That can take you anywhere in the world you want. Huh? <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! And what they what did they use that for? <laughs> <laughs> to go back to Belle's childhood home to basically confirm, oh, her mom died of the plague. Okay. So what does that have to do with anything? Probably oh, nothing. nothing. Absolutely nothing. They wanted to sympathize with her character more. Yep. Wow. I now the one after that, that shit. Now the one after that, Christopher Robin, that's the one I did like. Oh yeah, I forgot about Christopher Robin. That one was pretty good. Wait, Christopher Robin? Yeah, it's a re it's considered a remake of the Winnie the Pooh films. Huh. I, I never even heard about that one, to be honest. Yeah, it's, it's kind it, of like it's really good. Yeah, it's based off him after he's done with the Winnie the Pooh world, right? Something like that? Yeah. And like him in real he's life. All, it's actually pretty yeah. interesting. Yeah, when he's all grown up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the ultimate boss of Oh No! As... Yeah, um... <laughs> Dumbo one... That one's also a mixed bag for me. Yeah... I'm kinda neutral on the Dumbo one. Um, the Aladdin live-action remake... I like how Will Smith did Genie. Yeah. It he, wasn't trying to be Robin Williams. He was one I of the better parts of the movie. I did appreciate he tried to do his own thing with that. It was yeah, I do appreciate that. It's everything else around that movie. It was movie more the that lead kind of actors more than anything. Yeah. yeah. Especially Javar being the worst of them. Mm -hmm. The girl was alright. Jasmine was alright. Jasmine yeah, was probably yeah. the best one of a lot. Yeah, Naomi Scott was probably the best actress in the entire movie. Yeah. 
Um, in terms yep. of the leads, yeah. Yep. Yeah. But Aladdin and Jafar. Ugh. Yeah. yeah, those two kind of didn't work at all. <laughs> yeah. Lion King. I can't even call no. it a actual remake. <laughs> it's, it's a CGI remake. CGI remake, yeah, that's a better way of putting Almost it. But all I can say about shot. that movie. Yep. First we did it in 2D, now we'll do it in CG. Yep. <laughs> 2D, CD. <laughs> Somehow they lost the emotions on all the wine's faces. It's almost yeah. like trying to take animals and trying to put emotions on them is a bad idea. Hey, some movies could do it. Like in the early 2000s, there were some really experimental CG movies that actually did it rather well. I mean, the movies themselves weren't great, but the technology behind them was actually really good. I think yeah. Animals of Narnia is the only one I can really think of that did that decently well. Yeah, I know there was one yeah. about owls that had really good technology behind it, but the movie was dumb. Yeah. All right, Maleficent: The Mystery of Evil, unnecessary. Yep, sequel. Yeah. Uh, the Disney Plus version uh, films, Lady uh, and the Tramp, Fair. <laughs> yeah, I've not heard anything about it really. And the really Mulan on one. Oh yeah. They if Brian King wasn't the worst one, Milan definitely took that title That's... by miles. Yeah, I forget. They took it from being it... an inspirational movie to make it like a movie about a woman just basically going and killing people. It's Mulan yep. true, as I'm gonna call it. <laughs> oh, yep. That movie is awful. Yeah, and it's not just because like, oh, it's a terrible remake of. The Disney classic. I mean, no, it it's a terrible film as its own. I mean, in all fairness, the the original Mulan movie doesn't hold up perfectly, but it holds up better than what they just did. Whatever they did yeah. for yeah, like the light, the the regular one was actually really good for what it is. Sure, it takes a little bit of liberties, but it still has its own unique yeah. message that actually puts out well. Women this empowerment. One, like, you're doing oh. it wrong. You're turning into a psychopath. That's not how yeah. you get women empowerment. And this isn't even including all the behind-the-scenes stuff or all the other stuff that happened. Oh, especially yeah. That yeah, let's talk into that. The political stuff yeah, with let's... Gina. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh... Don't worry, those jokes will be dying down soon, right? Right? <laughs> let's not go any further than we have to. Yeah, I don't. Sit down, have a drink. Yep, there you go. Yeah, uh, but overall, Lion King wasn't my least favorite, and actually, I already lost interest in Disney as a whole when, you know, they started doing it from Beauty and the Beast, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lion King was like the was kind of like the nail in the coffin, and this is just like kicking it while it's still dead. They just burn the coffin still. It's already like, dead! Like, <laughs> yeah. Because the last real movie that Disney did that I had any interest in wasn't even a Disney movie, it's Pixar. Yeah. Mm. Was it one of the recent movies? I wanted to see- I haven't seen it yet, I probably should at some point. Soul. Oh yeah, I've heard Soul is actually pretty good. Um, I mean, I know it's on Disney Plus right now, so, yeah. um, I guess at some point I might be able to watch that with my girlfriend, I'm not sure. Yeah, I know the soundtrack's really good, of course, and well, I mean, it, the message of the I movie mean, is music, really good, so. too. Yeah. The so. way the movie handles itself is something completely different from what most movies have done, which is something that Definitely is interesting. That's Pixar for you. Yep. They usually nail it right, and then they have a Cars 2 in there. Or yeah. a good or a good dinosaur. Can't be perfect, but Yeah. Or uh planes. I don't think that was Pixar, yeah. but I'll look up and make sure. It's like it was probably one of Disney Studios that does like those uh TV shows or whatever. They got a lot, a lot of those, like, 3D CG animated shows. I think it was one of those studios that did Planes. I don't look if he did this. But it was heavily inspired off of Cars, yes. <laughs> yeah. And Cars is their worst franchise of movies. Yeah. They actually had more than one movie. The worst movie? Well, it's either Cars 2 or The Good Dinosaur. One of those two. I'd say Cars 2, well, this is just a me thing, but I would say Cars 2 if only because I just don't like the idea of when you make a, the main character focus around a character who's essentially just a jackass. Get her done! Yeah. Get her done. <laughs> they did that with Plant Sheen, and that ruined his character entirely, along with any foundation for another Jimmy Neutron later yep. scenes or anything like that. Yep. 
That was dumb. So yes, dumb. it was. <sighs> oh, God. Because I don't know anything about the good dinosaur, and all I know about Cars 2 is from that one time we watched the um, Honest Trailer together. Yeah, that sounds that was right. All the proof, that was all the uh, thing I needed to see, because I was like wondering, like, why did people take Cars 2? Show me that Honest Trailer. I'm like, okay, that answers all my questions. Yeah. Why are they centered about around the most one note character? Like, what the f- Ugh. Yeah. Sucks, because Cars 3 I actually heard wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was about Lightning Queen again, that's why! <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. because you're know, the one person that actually matters. Yeah. Although, the, yeah, I think it's mostly because of that, that, tr that first trailer. That first trailer for Cars 3 is what really sold people. Yeah. But it didn't do as well because I think a lot more people were burned by uh, Cars 2. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you, still got people them, you still got people that don't like Incredibles 2 because it's so similar to the first movie. It's just Mrs. Incredible instead of, oh no, I mean Elastigirl <laughs> instead of Mr. Incredible. Right. I mean, may as well be part of Mr. Incredible anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. All right, well, I better... As well, I think, all right. Yeah. All right, I better dip out. All right. So, uh, all right. Yep, we'll so, see you, man. All right. See you. Yeah, Incredibles 2, I did really like that movie, but... I mean, I didn't mind all the similarities and stuff. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's not inherently a bad thing. Some people say, well, it's more of the same. It's like, would you rather have it change drastically and turn into something like Cars 2 or something, where it's like, oh, yeah, we changed all right for something horrible. And the villain was predictable, but... I didn't hate the approach they took for it. Then I again, still need to see it, but that's something that's still, like, up in, up in the air for me on that front. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? Oh, it's it's pretty good. It's just... The villain, like, a part of the way through, you can predict who the villain is. Like, you know, you've probably heard... Oh, the screen, sa screen slave or whatever, yeah. Hmm. Like, the identity of that villain. You can probably figure it out before it's revealed. I kind of did, and then once it was revealed, I was like, uh... It doesn't ruin the movie, but it just... The villain definitely leaves something to be desired. That's something that, well... I'm not sure if it... Well, I guess I can say, because that's also a Disney thing as well. Yeah. Disney has it worse, though, because they just do, like, the twist villain thing every time without really, you know, establishing any of the characters or villains. I mean, I think Frozen probably is the worst with that. Does that even have villains? <laughs> What's his face? I think it's supposed to be the villain. Oh yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah. I, oh. So if there's something worse that Disney does that... I mean... We're it's only ever really so guy. bad in Frozen. Well, there's that one, but there's another one, which is the... The Deus Ex Machina, but not the Deus Ex Machina where it's like saving the hero at the last minute. It's more like the damage is done, but they find some magical BS to undo all the damage that was done, making the entire journey kind of pointless because there's no sense of permanence. Yeah. Ugh. I really hate that trope. My yeah. least favorite trope in all of media. They want all the bad people to be redeemed so they can be good now. Ugh. There's nothing wrong with that, but you got to do it right is the thing. Yeah, there was one that was actually somewhat decent with that, or I guess technically Megamind? Yeah. That movie was not as bad as people said it was. It was actually pretty good. Megamind is actually pretty interesting. I like that movie. Yeah, it's it's definitely m more hated than it deserves. It was an interesting idea, at least. Yeah, it's one of the more unique ideas. Yeah. All right, well, I guess we'll end this episode here. We're now at Sandopolis. It's about to get shitty. I just Yay. just buried Knuckles in the sand. Don't <laughs> let me out. Don't let me out. Let me die in here, please.